The launch of Mass Effect Andromeda was, um, how do I put this lightly, an unfortunate travesty? It was a culmination of poor leadership, managerial incompetence, technical difficulties, in-office politics, and ill-conceived ideas on both Bioware and EA's part. While Andromeda wasn't an unplayable abomination by any means, while there were qualities you could compliment about it, it nowhere near lived up to the Mass Effect standards that past entries have established. Now, some developers like Bioware producer Mark Darrow will have you believe that perception was skewed around the game because so many other great games released at around the same time. But if you ask me, Andromeda was just an all-around lackluster game on its own. Even if Andromeda would have released to sparse competition, I really don't think reception surrounding the game's laughably horrific facial animations and dialogue would have been much different. Anyway, you all know the story, this all eventually led to EA shutting down Andromeda's developers, Bioware Montreal, and shelving Mass Effect for the foreseeable future. From there, the question on the minds of Mass Effect fans became, will we ever see Mass Effect return again, or has EA killed it outright? And if it is intended to make a return, just how many years will we have to wait? Well, turns out that this was a topic that Bioware was willing to be pretty open about while speaking to members of the press about their upcoming game Anthem. The following information comes from website Game Informer, who recently participated in an interview with Bioware head Casey Hudson. When asked about prospects of revisiting familiar and renowned Bioware franchises like Star Wars, Dragon Age, and Mass Effect, here's how he responded. Is it safe to say that like there's still interest in pursuing more Dragon Age, even if it's not on the front burner right now. Yeah, I mean, we have, first of all, it, it is amazing to have new IP um, that you've developed and then that, that you own, because that's part of the fun for us, is having created Mass Effect and Dragon Age and now Anthem, these are worlds that we can think of many years in advance about where we want to take the franchise and the story and things like that. And that's, you know, one of the most rewarding things that, that we can do is we, we get to figure out what happens with these worlds. So for, for Dragon Age and Mass Effect, we, we want to get back to them as soon as we can. And then it's just about focusing our effort as we go from one thing to the, to the next so that we can do a great job on one thing and then move on to the next thing. You know, like Mass Effect is certainly a game that I want to get back to. Um, it's kind of amazing. I know there are people that, that feel like, you know, we're just, we're just never going to do anything along the lines of Mass Effect. But I mean, uh, you know, that, it's, it's my baby. I, I, I helped, uh, you know, start Mass Effect from the beginning. And um, so, of course, we, we intend to get back to it at some point. So there you go, Mass Effect fans. The series is far from dead or over, and Bioware is actually eager to get back to the franchise. Now, there is still the question of how long it'll take for that to happen, and if I were you, I wouldn't expect anything substantial as far as Mass Effect goes for a couple years. Keep in mind that Anthem is releasing on February 22nd, 2019, and throughout the months leading up to the launch of Anthem, all hands will be on deck for that project. After Anthem launches from there, next in the pipeline would be Dragon Age 4, and judging by what we have heard about it so far, it still seems to be in early stages and a couple years out. I get the sense that Dragon Age 4 will be a next generation game, or at least a cross generation game launching in 2020 or maybe even 2021. From there, it's probably gonna be a couple more years before we finally see Mass Effect take any substantial form. If we assume the worst, and estimate a 2021 release window for Dragon Age 4, I would say that the next Mass Effect will likely launch two to three years later, or sometime in 2023 or 2024. Personally speaking, I would place my bet on 2024, given that Bioware is unlikely to pursue a sequel to Andromeda, meaning that conceptually, the studio is going to have to start from scratch. Then again, one aspect that hindered Andromeda's development was technical difficulties with the Frostbite engine. But over the years, developers have gotten much more used to the engine's workflow and have been able to repurpose the engine to fit a wider variety of molds. So on a technical standpoint, I think Mass Effect might actually have a much easier time than the likes of Dragon Age Inquisition, Andromeda, or even Anthem did. I don't know, it's all rumors and speculation at this point, but if you're a Mass Effect fan, at least there is a light at the end of this long tunnel. There is still the question of will modern day Bioware be able to do right by Mass Effect when they return to 
it. It's hard to deny that BioWare's reputation has taken a hit lately with underwhelming releases like Andromeda and with a recent focus on multiplayer-centric titles like Anthem. Me personally, I would say that it's still far too early to make any kind of determination. Keep in mind that Andromeda was developed by BioWare Montreal, not the main studio in Edmonton, so as far as quality goes, it is more likely that the more experienced studio will ultimately yield a better Mass Effect sequel. As for Anthem, well, BioWare developers made it a point to emphasize throughout their numerous interviews that just because Anthem is multiplayer-centric, doesn't mean that all Bioware games moving forward will be like that. Anthem fits a certain mold they're trying to go for with this new IP, and new entries in franchises like Dragon Age and Mass Effect will fit a mold that's appropriate for those titles. That's the promise, at least. I would also say, however, that the quality of Anthem and Dragon Age 4 will ultimately dictate my excitement level for a prospective new Mass Effect. Even if Anthem fits a different type of Bioware mold, Bioware did promise that it would still retain the core Bioware DNA that focuses on storytelling, lore, and world building, and Dragon Age 4 will be a more traditional narrative-driven single-player RPG, and how those games fare will allow us to gauge BioWare's current standards when it comes to storytelling and game design. After all, what ultimately killed Andromeda for me beyond the facial animations was the piss-poor writing and dialogue, which completely took me out of the experience. Gameplay-wise, I think Andromeda actually played fine, but the game as a whole was lacking in substance, and I admittedly have similar concerns for Anthem. I have no doubt that Anthem will look gorgeous and that it will play really well from a mechanical standpoint, but will it have a level of narrative substance that we have come to expect from a Bioware game? Only time will tell, I suppose, so for now I'll approach news of Bioware wanting to return to Mass Effect as soon as they can with cautious optimism. Won't deny, though, it is exciting that Casey Hudson is so eager to return to Mass Effect. With Casey Hudson back at Edmonton and likely helming the next Mass Effect, Fingers crossed for a proper next entry. These are just one man's thoughts and opinions anyway. I'd love to hear what your take is on all of this in the comments below. With that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy my content and would like to support this channel directly, consider donating on Patreon. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.